We have many options here, and whether you're serving a traditional turkey dinner or shaking things up and serving sushi, your choice of wine plays a key role in your holiday entertaining and dinner. We've invited Peter Smolars here from Willow Park, uh, and you're here to help us pick the perfect wine because you know all things wine related. So, good That's morning true. to you. Good morning. Okay, and I love where we're starting here with a little bit of bubbles. Of course, my favorite bubbles meets rose. You can't ask for much more. Especially during the Christmas season because it brings a lot of berry notes. Okay. So I find you're starting your night, maybe some cheese, of course, maybe some cranberry spread. It's the perfect option. And this one's quite fun because champagne can be quite expensive right. coming from France. This actually comes from South Africa's Western Cape. Really, really nice, made exactly the same like champagne, but much better value. Okay, it is a great value, around $20 for that bottle. And so you can pair that savory or sweet, whatever kind of cheese board you're serving. Exactly, softer cheeses are better, but you could move into something like Parmigiano, would still be very, very nice. Okay, lovely, we like that. And what do we have next? These are my alternative pairings. So for Christmas this year, I'm changing it up. We're not going to do a turkey. We're going to do curry, and we're going to do some cold fish. Okay. So for curry, of course, very, very spicy, very aromatic. My favorite is Gewürztraminer. And we're very lucky here in, the, in Canada. We have amazing Gewürztraminer. I really love the See You Later Ranch. This comes from high in the hills just above Okanagan Falls. Mm -hmm. Very bright, very spicy, very floral. Works with the heat of a curry, but also the many, many aromas and spices you get. And then for sushi, or in this case, I'm going to use it with uh, fresh, uh, sh fresh shucked oysters. Yeah. Citrus, bright, very, very fresh. Works perfect with an alternative dinner. Okay, and where's this wine from? This one comes Sauvignon. from Bordeaux, France. 100% Sauvignon Blanc. Really? That's mm -hmm. unusual as well, isn't it? It's actually more common than you think, but we think of Sauvignon Blanc from Marlborough Bay, New Zealand. Right. But those are a little grassy, a little too pungent for the food that we're pairing, especially sushi. You really need to complement such good, good high level of fish. Mm -hmm. So this one's a little more subtle, more towards citrus, less of those grassy notes. Okay. White from Bordeaux. There you have it. And how about these picks right here? That's my traditional picks. So, of course... Turkey, Pinot Noir have always been a classic, classic pairing because it brings a lot of cranberry, mm. and more importantly, it's a very, very light red. It doesn't have tons of body, so it won't overwhelm your poultry, and it has really nice acidity again to cut through, of course, what is a good turkey dinner is butter. Yeah. So it really lightens up a, a very, very heavy feast. And then for a white, typically Riesling is traditional, but I've switched up to something called a Viognier. Mm -hmm. It's a little weightier, but more importantly, it has a floral note. I find it really complements the sage, and it moves into apricot and peach notes, which really complements the accoutrement of a good turkey dinner as well. Delicious. Okay, so you can choose white or red, whatever your preference. And what are we moving into here? So this is my new favorite category. This comes from Spain. This is a blend of Granacha, Syrah, and Tempranillo. Mm -hmm. But more importantly, this has been aged for us. It's a Reserva. And outside of Spain and Italy, Reserva really means nothing. But in the case of the Sangre del Toro, it has some time in barrel, so it's become a little more rustic. Cigar box, little spice, little earthiness. So if you're pairing with venison or duck, it really complements those gamey notes. Okay. But also has the body to stand up with the intensity of those meats. Okay, we like that. And what do you have for dessert? Ah, dessert. Always a challenge. I actually have something from northern Chile, from the valley of Casablanca. Back to Sauvignon Blanc, mm -hmm. but done with late harvest. It comes in a half bottle, which is always good when we're talking about dessert wine. But more importantly, because it comes from Casablanca, which is very close to the ocean, yep. it's very crisp, it's very clean. So if you're just drinking on its own, it doesn't seem like it's coinly sweet. It doesn't leave sugar on your palate. Mm -hmm. But if we paired it with a dessert, it would be quite elegant as well. Okay, and how do you serve the dessert wine? Do you chill that? You would serve it quite cold yeah. and just half a serving. Half a serving. Of what you would a normal one. Just a little bit to start anyways. Wonderful. And I'm assuming things are very busy over the holidays. Quite busy. Park. Okay, so you want to get down there in the next few days to make sure you're entertaining right. Thank you so much.